is Fila Beckton, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Before I get into this review, just want to say quickly, if you want to win a box set of Trial of the Time Lord DVDs, uh, I'll give giving it away. Um, because I as soon as my Blu-rays arrive, they they should have arrived like a month ago. But they lost in the mail. They Amazon is sent, sent a replacement. It's supposed to be here on Sunday. I guess can't wait for it. To as soon as it arrives, giving it away to to get it. All you got to do is like, share, and subscribe, and leave a hashtag, a comment from Facebook here, wherever, Twitter, and say the hashtag sixty on trial. Hashtag s i x i e o n t r i a l. And I'll do a random picking, and you could probably win it. Only one person has entered so far. I've got a tiny channel. Only one person has entered so far, so you could very well win this. This is a review, however, of another Doctor Who story, Doctor Who, Daughter of the Gods. And I'm going to say this is a legitimate classic. You know, this is a this is a really, really, really strong entry from, from Big Finish. It just came out this month, came out a couple of days ago. It's one of the early uh, early adventures range, uh, which is slightly different from the the rest of their their ranges. It's much more closer to a, a, a book on tape. What it is, you have narration and you have people acting as well. So um, it's it, 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 I I think it works. So normally what they do with it, they use these to make um, I think the lost stories, uh, which are also really good. This is a, this is to the, at the same level. As the Lost Stories, which this series came to replace. Yeah, one thing we see if I can find. What's the name of the Lost Stories, which I really like? There's a first Doctor one. Hang on, hang on. Look, see, now I'm looking through my iTunes. Lost Stories. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, the, was it? Farewell, Great Great Macedon, and uh, the Fragile Yellow Arc of Fra the Was it the Fragile Yellow Arc of Fragrance? It was, I think, the first Doctor Missing Stories box set, the first one they did. Absolutely exquisite. That's another great one. So this one, you get two for the price of one. It is this is a uh, a, a two a multi doctor story. It has both the first and second doctors in it, and they said they thought of this to be like a uh, an imaginary uh, fifth anniversary special where they got William Hartnell back uh, to do a story. I don't think it really works that way, but I think it work it works more as a story. It works really well as a story. It's what well, again. It's I, I'm going to say this is not just the, the one of the best big finishes I've heard for a while. This is a legitimate classic Doctor Who story, which you all should hear. It um, it starts off... Oh, so let me tell you a bit more. So the cast is essentially um, Wendy Pabry and, Fra and Fraser Hines representing the second Doctor's crew. And then you have uh, Peter Purvis, and you have somebody in playing the role of Katarina, who was like a companion for 10 seconds. Her name is... I'm going, to, I'm going to say it badly, and I apologize, uh, Ajaz Awad. And I, I, I apologize I apologize profusely for, for mispronouncing your name, which I'm sure I did. So she plays Katrina. You know, nobody really knows, has remembers what Katrina was, so she may be perfect, she may be totally different. I really don't know. And, of course, Nick Nick Briggs as a Daleks. So, um... The uh, was it uh, Fraser Hines does uh, Patrick Troughton's lines, and he is per you cannot tell it's not Patrick Troughton. He sounds like exactly like Patrick Troughton. He's got the mannerisms perfectly. I really wish you know the the if they ever want to bring back the Second Doctor in the, in the TV show, get Fraser Hines. He would be freaking perfect. You know, it is, about, you put put a Beatles wig on him. I think he could probably carry it off. Um, and then you have Peter Purvis does the voice of the first Doctor, which is more of a recreation. I actually think it works a bit better than the Dave Bradley uh, first Doctor stories they do. So okay, so this starts off that the it's actually it's a great, it's a really clever story. I, I know I'm gushing about it a bit, but I really really enjoyed it. So it starts off <coughs> in the, in Patrick Troughton's TARDIS when um, Zoe is found a component that's apparently a safety thing and she wants to reinstall it. But which causes a, a terrible consequences as two cart TARDISes then collide, but maybe they're the same does. But it, ba it basically work, work, works out there's a, a an alternate timeline is created and they don't go and the first doctor doesn't go and um, and do the Dalek master plan. He also has lost the Dalek master plan, much like us. So uh, he, uh, he, so the Daleks develop their time destructor, and 
they're, so they're, they're on this planet. They're on this planet for like a long time because the TARDIS is damaged. And uh, then the Dal Daleks start to show up and they've got this new time disruptor. And it's just crazy. So here, so. And then, of course, uh, Patrick Trouser's doctor turns up. And they, there's a. They, I, I want, there was an uneasy alliance between the two doctors. And they do explain how, you know, this, this, uh, this does mess up the continuity of. Uh, Twice upon a time, which I, you know, there's a lot of hatred out there for it. I really liked it. I think mean, look, it's probably the best Jodie Whittaker part of her being the twelfth Doctor. Was it twelfth or thirteen? Whatever number she is. Uh, that's the. But uh, I really, really like that story. Uh, anyway, so what was I? So uh, yeah, so it does mess up the continuity, but it doesn't because it, 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 it's clever. It explains it. So, and then the Daleks show up. The Daleks are. I, I what I really love with this, they did really. Perfect era Daleks. They got the, you know, in back in the sixties, you had, uh, you you have you had different types of Daleks. You don't have now. David Gerald, who was uh, better known for Thunderbirds, you know, he did the voice for Parker. He did a Dalek, and they do a really good recreation of that Dalek, and they do a few different Daleks. All very. Oh, speaking of David Gerald, do I have that thing over here? Yeah, David Gerald. If you're lucky enough to, have, here, check this out. So he played a Dalek in this in, in in this audio production, which is on vinyl. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? But it's actually quite recent. Oh, here, if I can get this picture of him up here. You can just, yeah, you go. This, this was actually a freebie that came with a fantastic, I, I don't know what to call it, magazine, fanzine. It's, it's, a, it's about the size, it's like about this thick, you know, about talking about mainly Doctor Who comics called Vorp Vorp. If you can find it, it's fantastic. Yeah, they've done three volumes. All of them, they're probably all sold out, and they're, they're all brilliant. Anyway, <laughs> so they do, they have real uh, great in era Daleks, and you have a great story for Katarina, the who is the daughter of the gods in the title. Who they again, you didn't, you didn't, you never really got to know her on the screen, but it really fleshes her out. It it, it fleshes out the effect that her um, that her death that that. Bit of a spoiler alert, but she did die in uh, a 1965 story. So if you don't know about that, I apologize. But you know, it's, it's like you got to know going into this one. Um, so yeah, yeah, I, I, it's, it's written by who was it written by? David K. Barnes. I don't really know much of his stuff. He did the another Dalek story, I think, for uh, for this range, the Dalek Occupation of Winter. Which you know, I got, I remember listening to it, but didn't make as much an impression on me. As, as this story. Uh, i got to go back and listen to it now, but it's a busy month. I've got to go listen to the first episode, uh, release, which has the, the Richard... Uh, David, what's it? David Dreyfus? I can't remember his name. He, he, who has them, the master they've been having him with the early Doctors. Um, and then there's the two lost stories. Uh, the Nightmare County and the Ultimate Evil. Um, which I got to listen to too, but yeah, this is really on my on my on my to uh, to listen list. I was re it was really 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 good. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, my name is Sila Beck and the Rabbit from Another Planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a comment saying sixty on trial. Get yourself a free trial time mode. Uh, and we're, I'm giving away tons of DVDs over the next few months. Um, it's because I'm moving into Blu-ray, so I got this great box set of David Tennant stuff. So I got my my DVD box set. They they got to go. Next one, I think, is going to be the Pertwee one with Planet of Daleks and Frontier in Space. Well, Dalek War. War. Cool. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to be giving away, uh, giving away lots and lots of DVDs to lucky people out there. My name's Hila Beckin, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.